If you're looking for a gluten-free, oil-free, flourless chocolate chip cookie, I've got such a good one for you today. Stick around. Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chew on Vegan and welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new here, I'm a plant-based RN and I follow the start solution. On my channel, you're going to find quick and easy whole food plant-based recipes. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video, which is every week. You can also follow me on Instagram for more plant-based content. Be sure to check out the links below for links to my Facebook group where you can find some inspiration, support, and recipes. Also, I have a newsletter and an e-guide. So I found this recipe just browsing through the internet and I thought this looks so good and so easy, I've got to give it a try. So let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is mix the wet ingredients together. I've got a quarter cup of aquafaba. Aquafaba is the juice from the chickpeas. If you make homemade chickpeas, you can use that juice as well, that, uh, the cooking water from that. Then a half a cup of almond butter. And I accidentally bought crunchy. You're supposed to use smooth, but you know what? I'm gonna go with it. Now, if you're using vanilla extract, you'd put that in here. I use the vanilla powder, so that's gonna go with the dry ingredients. Then we're going to mix this together till we get it all incorporated, which will take a minute. I mean, you could use a mixer if you wanted to, but why dirty something else? It just takes a little, little elbow grease here. Look at that, it's already getting there. So the aquafaba is replacing eggs in this recipe. And the almond butter is replacing the oil. Now I know, almond butter is a higher calorie food. I know that. But not all of my recipes are for weight loss. This is a lovely little dessert. It's a lot healthier than anything else you're going to get at the store and it's okay for a treat. If you are still trying to lose weight, then you might want to skip this recipe. But if you are in maintenance, this is a great cookie to have occasionally. We'll set that aside. Then we're gonna add all the dry ingredients together. So here I have my baking soda and my vanilla. I've got some cacao powder. You can use cocoa powder. And I have tweaked this a little bit to my own personal taste. And then I've got some coconut sugar. And then we're just gonna whisk it all together. Just wanna make sure everybody is mixed together. And kinda, and try to get rid of any big lumps you may have. You could also sift this if you wanted to, but again, I didn't feel like getting something else dirty. Okay, now we're gonna put the dry into the wet. And did I mention this is double chocolate? And then stir this to combine. All right, so it's all nice and combined and I added about a half a cup of chocolate chips. And it took some, you know, some elbow grease, but that's okay. Now we'll put these on a lined baking sheet. You wanna get a, you wanna have your little scooper and put them on the cookie sheet. It does, it does say in the recipe, if you want to make it easier to work with, you can refrigerate it for 30 minutes, but yeah, I'm not good at waiting. That's fine, just a little sticky, but I can deal with that. All right, I'm gonna put these in the oven. It's preheated at 350. It said nine to 12 minutes. I'm gonna start with nine because I like my cookies a little chewy. We'll check them at nine. Okay, well, it looks like I have a brownie instead of cookies. Perhaps I put them too close together on the cookie sheet. When I was putting them on there, I kind of had that feeling, but I thought, eh, let's just see what happens. This is what happened. 
So we're gonna let these cool and see um, what we can salvage. So I'll check back with you. Okay, as you can see, they came out just all different kinds of shapes. I did get one perfect cookie and that's the one I'm gonna show you. So these are amazing. I don't care what they look like. I am gonna make another batch and make them farther apart so I can get a nice pretty picture for my thumbnail. But I just wanted to show you this cookie. It is amazing. And I like, it's like, mm, yeah. It's a little bit crispy on the edges, but oh, soft and chewy on the inside. Mm, to die for. So good. So, live and learn. So you see, not all of my recipes come out perfect either, so don't feel bad if yours come out a little crazy like mine did. Just remember, we're gonna put them, you know, like at least two inches apart, so that way when they spread, they don't make like a Yuna cookie. So if you like this video, if you learn something, if you learn what not to do, then give me a like. And if you've made it this far in the video, then please comment below with aquafaba, and that way I know you made it to the end with me and I really appreciate it. And I may have bloopers at the end. I don't know, you're just gonna have to wait and see. But remember, all my recipes are good for you, they're good for the animals, and they're good for the planet, and what you put on your plate determines your fate. Until next time, thank you. <sighs> then I've got a half a cup of almond, yeah, almond, uh. one moment please. So if you liked this video, if you thought it was funny, sad, um, give me a like. 